Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today, we're gonna be unboxing and taking a look at the ATN Excite 4K Pro. This is a smart HD day and night vision rifle scope. This specific model is the 5-20X. This was a birthday gift actually, so I did not receive this product. Well, I didn't receive this product from ATN for free. I got this as a gift. So it is a honest unbox and review of it. And I will be honest, I have opened the box. My parents really wanted to see what it looked like. Unfortunately, the uh, IR flashlight takes the C123A batteries, uh, which I did not have at the time, so I had to order some of those. Other than that, I have not really looked into the scope or unboxed it or gone through the booklet at all. But some stats on it are it has an Ultra HD sensor, it says it records 1080p at 120 FPS. And it says Smart HD Optics. Let's see. It has a ballistic calculator, dual stream video, recoil activated video, smart range finder, e compass, dual core processor, share on social media, one shot zero. I've heard that is pretty cool and ultra low power consumption in a ballistic profile manager so you can have it on multiple guns. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this. Oh, and for what it's worth, this is a factory refurbished version. So this is not necessarily a brand new rifle scope. This was a refurbished one. You can save a little bit of money doing that. You still get a warranty and everything. So in my opinion, I like to buy refurbished products because you can save some money on it, and they're factory certified, so you still get the warranty and everything. So just a tidbit, if you're interested in this scope and you don't want to pay the full price for it, check out the refurbished options they have. All right, so when you open the box, it looks like there's a, I don't know how we all can see it, but it's something on the box here. Uh, just some notes, it talks about a firmware update, Shows you how to do that. Um, some support, aligning the IR beam, and then has some optional accessories uh, listed there as well. So I'm going to take out the manual, and then it looks like the quick start guide. So it does come with a nice case. Set that aside. A cleaning cloth. This looks like a USB cable of some sort. This is your IR flashlight and the mount for it. This looks like a scope mount. So these are scope mounts here. Um, gives you what well, looks like a couple different options. I don't plan on mounting the gun today in this video. I will probably do a follow-up video of where I kind of take some shots, test out some of the features, and do a little review of it as well. So I'm more gonna say the unboxing and messing with the scope itself, adjusting some settings, taking a look at some of the features it has, and going down that route. So here it looks like we have a sunshade cover. And I think this is like a little extra eyepiece of some sort to extend the, the eyepiece maybe. So set that aside for now as well. And then you have the scope itself. I will say it's got some weight to it. There's no doubt about that. It's got some stickers on it saying turn on, focus until reticle is clear and sharp, and then you can focus the distance down here. Oh, it looks like there's one over here. This is your zoom. And then uh, a firmware update sticker over here. Oh, another one on the bottom. Unit contains non-removable rechargeable lithium batteries. Charge through USB port. All right. And then it looks like there is a little Allen key here. We'll just point out a couple features on the scope itself. Right here is your focus adjustment to focus your distance. You have a power button, clearly labeled power an OK button, you have some a function button down here at the bottom that'll change your menu, and then you have a diopter adjustment here for the focus on that side. 
And then you have your right and left arrows. On the side here, you have a, what looks like a USB port and an SD. I believe it's micro SD, let's see. Yep, micro SD card is what that takes. And then on the back, your turn to zoom knob. And they just call that a scroll wheel. I think it does more than just zoom in. Uh, it helps kind of navigate through the screens as well. To charge it, it does come with a cable. It's a, a USB cable to what looks like a USB-C maybe? USB Type-C. And that I believe is, yep. So that's here on this side next to your SD card. It looks like it's got some pretty good rubber flaps here to help keep it sealed, which is kind of nice. Sometimes those end up being flimsy and fall off pretty easily. I don't really like the stickers on here, so I'm gonna take some of those off. Especially when it tells you the power button, I don't think you need something telling you to press the power button. So we will grab the flashlight here as well and go ahead and get the batteries put in that. This comes with its own Allen key as well, it looks like. So let's see. So one thing I have read on reviews of this scope is that this IR flashlight just doesn't quite do all that much. Uh, I've heard it works. You can get out to 100, 150 yards and see pretty well. There's a lot of people that recommend upgrading this flashlight. I'm gonna see how well it works, test it out myself and see if it's worth upgrading and I can let y'all know that as well. I need two CR123A batteries and put those in there. We'll put the top back on. Fortunately, it's not night right now, so I'm not gonna be able to test out the night vision aspect of it, but I can see that the IR works when I turn it on. It does look like it has one, two, three different levels. So we'll test that out a little bit later and I'll show you all some footage from that as well. So this is a card that tells you how to connect your uh, scope to a smart device and it's using an app called Obsidian. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that app. It looks like they have it on both iOS and Android. All right, so I'm just gonna go through this quick guide here. Again, as I mentioned, I'm not, the first thing it says is it talks about mounting it to your scope, then it talks about charging the device, turning it on, and the next thing it says, choosing your lens type. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a way I can screen record this so that y'all can see uh, the setup and the play. I may see if my phone can capture it, uh, and if it does, I can try and record it that way. All right, so it is on. Let's see if my phone can see this. It's not looking like it's gonna look at, be able to do that. So I'll just kind of walk you through it. So the first thing it says, choose your lens type. You gotta go through, choose the wrench icon system settings and choose either three to 14 or five to 20. So you must do, do, do wrench icon. Okay, so I clicked OK and that popped up uh, all the options and then I'll click system settings and then it says go to settings and then let's see, do I use the wheel? Yep. So the wheel on the left is what allows you to go up and down through their settings and so I need to choose device type and it's set to 5 by 20 okay so the next thing it talks about here is it talks about the different modes it has two modes of operation basic and advanced the basic mode has exit system settings night mode advanced shortcut zero reticle the advanced mode has the same options except for it has the range finder, it has a distance entry, environment, Wi-Fi, ballistic calculator, gallery. I'm just gonna go through the settings real quick here and adjust some stuff. So units, I put a standard. So it's either metric or standard. And so it looks like you can use the power button and this button on the bottom 
to actually do up and down on some of the settings as well. So date and time I'll go ahead and set. Let's see, manual or Wi-Fi. We're going to stick with manual. You can choose the date format. So month, month, day, year, year, year. Clock format, you can go 12 hour, 24 hour. So let's go ahead and do the date. It is, let's say, January 7th. So January. I always think it's kind of interesting to see what the original date they put in here is set as, because it kind of tells you when these were manufactured and when the scope uh, was set up originally. And this was 2014 as their reset date. So um, kind of gives you an idea there. So we will make that. It is now 2022. Okay, so then the time. It'll be interesting to see when you shut this off and if it dies, how well it keeps your date uh, and time in here if it's got some sort of memory. So they have profiles and zero, so you can set up your different profiles. They have some display settings, which are your screen brightness, uh, some display widgets, sleep mode, reticle style, so you can change the different reticles. Uh, they have different languages. They have photo and video settings, so it has a microphone you can turn on and off. Uh, the video quality, let's go through some of these here. So video quality, it's set on 60 FPS. So they have 60 and 120 it looks like, oh, and 30. So we'll leave it, and yeah, we'll put it on 60. You can format your SD card. And then what, something that's kind of cool is they have recoil activated video. So if you don't want it to record everything and you want, don't have to click the button power and cycle through all this to start your recording, when it takes a shot and the scope feels the recoil, it'll go back and I don't have the number in front of me, but it'll record, I want to say it's 10 seconds before the shot and then keep recording through the shot. So pretty cool that even if you forget to turn it on, you can set this up and it will automatically turn on when it feels that recoil. So I am actually going to, oh, you can change, I clicked it here. So you can record before the shot is set to 10 seconds. Let's see how much I can change that. It lets me do 15 seconds before and as little as five. So you five, 10 or 15. I'm gonna say 15, get a little bit more time there. And then you can set the record after shot as well. I'm guessing you can set that to record as much as you want. It, okay, let's see what it has. So it has 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and infinity. So you would have to shut it off there. I'm going to keep it to infinity. So then the night vision, you can change the light sensitivity on it. So since it's not nighttime, I can't really test that right now. So I'm not going to get into that. And so that looks like most of the settings. So here's some, I'm going to go through all these here. So they have... Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings, the device type we already talked about, Zoom, let's see what options are there. So it's set as standard, and they have extended. I don't know the difference. I'll see if I can figure that out. Restore factory settings, firmware version, device serial. I mean, so far it seems like it's pretty easy to navigate through. I'm not going to go through every single setting right now. This video could probably be very long. So I will talk a little bit more about some of the outside features. So this is the, like I mentioned, the diopter adjustment, which is on your eye side of the scope. And basically you can rotate this ring. You'll achieve your optimal sharpness for the vision. So basically this adjustment, you shouldn't, once you set it, the way this diopter adjustment sets, they're saying you should never have to touch it again unless you're changing person. So this seems to be set more towards your eyes and what your eyes are seeing. So once you set that and adjust it, you should be good to go. It does have marks across here that you can uh, line up on. Let me take this sticker off. And so you can see which mark you line up to because it has a mark on the adjustment side and marks on the scope side. Let's see if y'all can see this. 
So there's marks here and then a mark on there too. So you can line it up. I know people don't like touching their uh, scope with anything. So if you don't want to do this, but like if I set it to my point, I know other people are going to be using the gun just for ease of me remembering. I will probably Sharpie in one of these white strips black to where it's set on so that I know exactly where I have it set. So when I take the gun back and use it, I can go right to that spot. So over here is your distance focus. This is what you see on a lot of scopes. This will focus if you're out at 50 yards, 100 yards, whatnot. It does not have any sort of numbering or anything on the side of it. So you can't tell what it's set at, which is unfortunate. It's, it seems to be more kind of like uh, binoculars. You know, you, you just kind of adjust it until you get it where you want it is the way it seems. It looks like it has an easy setup here. Um, once you have it on and it's in the right mode and you've got an SD card in there, all you have to do is click the right button and it'll start and stop the video recording. And the left button does pictures, I believe. Yep, press the left button while recording video will also take a picture. So you can take pictures while you're recording video. So in order to use the zoom, you must use the scroll wheel on the left side of your scope. If you turn it forward or towards the end of the scope, that is zooming in and towards you is zooming out. So then it talks about the day slash night mode uh, and how to switch between it. You just have to press OK to access the shortcut menu, then use the arrows to select night mode icon and press OK. Seems pretty simple. So if you're out there and it's about to start getting dark and you still are hunting, then all you have to do is, what, a couple clicks of the button and you're into night mode. One thing it does say is you should update your firmware right away. So I do plan on updating that. I'll probably have to go redo my settings after I do that. So to update your firmware, you'll need a micro SD card and a fully charged internal battery. So I will have to charge the battery. It tells you how to set that up. Let me go ahead and shut this off. We'll probably stop taking a look at it right now. Shut down device, yes. Okay, so when it's off, you cannot see through the scope. It is dark, blank. So just thought I'd note that you have to have it charged and on. So if the battery does die on you, your gun's essentially worthless because you do lose your scope. So that is one kind of downfall to the scope. Zeroing, it looks like it has a pretty straightforward setup there. They say you should enter a profile before you zero the gun and you can enter the load and a lot of characteristics of the load. That way if you have the distance setting set up that you can automatically adjust based on your load which is pretty pretty cool. And if you shoot, it sounds like if you shoot different loads you can have multiple profiles so that you can adjust you know when you're going hunting, if you're shooting a different round you just adjust to that specific profile. And then you can set up profiles per gun as well, it looks like. And that's really the quick start guide. That's all I'm gonna do for this video. I will throw some footage of this at night vision. I'm at my house right now, so I don't have a lot of distance, but I will do some stuff in the backyard. I'll see if I can get my dog out there and see what it looks like. We'll go out front, I'll pull the scope out and record some night vision of me or my fiance walking around and we'll just see how it works and I'll put all that footage at the back and I may do a follow up once I see the footage just to kind of talk through some of that but I do hope you all enjoyed this video. I am definitely going to do another video because I think there's a lot to look at and a lot to learn on this scope. And this is kind of a preliminary, more of an unboxing video. I don't know if I'll show a video of me setting it up on my gun. If I do, I will probably just add a separate video and you'll be able to find that in the description below. I plan on coming out with a couple more videos. I hope you all enjoyed this and stay tuned for more exciting videos from Z-Man Outdoors. Thanks guys.
Stop sign is at 100 yards. So there is a street light there, giving off quite a bit of light. They're about a hundred yards right now on 5x zoom. I'm going to shut off the IR. So that's medium, low, off. Low, medium, high. So you can see it brighten a little bit. So here, I'll go down one spot. So that's off. See how dark and it brightens with IR. So you can tell it works pretty well.